Alright, so, hey guys, it's the, uh, Mr. Love Dinosaur, back again. Uh, I think we're on round, uh, 10 or 11 now, and, uh, oh boy, um, last episode, we, uh, kind of just went through the, uh, flame tower really quick, um, and, uh, continued on to No, no Man's Wharf, which, it's like one of the worst places in this entire game. In my opinion, because um, there's just like a crap ton of stuff everywhere that just wants to kill you. But then again, this is a Dark Souls game, so I mean, sure, <laughs> you really shouldn't expect any uh, any less than that. Um, I also already kind of talked about a lot of important things I needed to get out of the way, including how I am changing up the way I'm recording, um, and uh, any new games that I'm going to be playing in the future. I, I probably should have just kept playing last time I recorded until I got to the next bonfire, but I did not, and that is my bad. <laughs> uh, something kind of came up all of a sudden, so I had to cut the recording. Oh, boy. You gotta love when that kind of stuff happens, though. Shows you that we're only human, and we still have priorities going elsewhere that need to be taken care of before anything else. You know, actually, I've been using the mace now, and I've never done the strong attack. Because I have no idea what it does. Oh. It just really doesn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> Alright, never mind then. I thought it was going to maybe like do a super heavy over, over the head swing or something. But it really did not do anything. Oh well. Hopefully our goal for this part is uh, we're going to get all the way over to the... Uh, the boss of this area, and uh, we'll make our way to the next portion of the game, which can be considered also one of the worst portions of the game. Uh, this place actually isn't as bad um, in retrospect compared to a lot of the other places. This place just has the uh, long-armed freak monsters that are incredibly overpowered. Are you blocking? You don't even look like you're blocking. But you're blocking somehow. What the? What is that shit? What is that? What is that? Um, these guys. These guys are what I was talking about. Uh, they do that bleed attack, and it's just not fun for anybody. And uh, I don't know. They just deal a lot of damage, and then on top of that, if they get the bleed effect on you, it does even more damage, and it lowers your stamina. So I don't know. It's just the worst monster in this uh, game to me the, at the moment. I'm trying to remember one that's worse and I'm almost near the end of the game on my other playthrough. I think the only thing I could legitimately say I hate more are the giants that are in the dragon shrine. Uh, just because those guys are those guys are not fun either. I know I just saw a dog running through there and I'm not in the mood to have to try and fight you and this guy at the same time so just come on. Thank you. Now you're dead. Ah! Don't throw your black goop on me, dude. Come on. Seriously. That's really uncool. Really uncool. Come on. This guy's like, man, I'm not here to be cool. Oh my god, I've never seen that combo before. You're amazing. You're the best AI in this entire... Look how much damage. You're harder than the boss. And that's actually a true statement, because the boss in this game is a little... Or not in this game, but... The boss in this area is a tad bit pathetic. Just, I mean, come on. And I say that now and watch me just get completely obliterated when I actually reach him. That typically happens a lot. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, come on. Come on, guy. Come on. Come on. Some point tonight, or today, in this fine day, somehow... Is my phone going off again? Gosh, I just noted about in the last video about how my pants are black. Um, and uh, I just noted about how my phone kept going off in the last video because it's something I needed to get done and then just went off again. But then again, oh well. Too bad. I was recording. I could deal with it. Cut. Cut. Oh. I think I have found the combo. I think I have found the combo that just kills these guys. Oh, boy. Alright. Feel makes me feel a little bit more confident about everything I do. Cut, cut. Combo, combo, oh god! The combo didn't work! It didn't work. I failed. 
This game failed me. I probably should have used my Estus Flask, and I didn't. But whatever. Can't tell me what to do. I'll use whatever I damn please. There's not even anything over there, but whatever. There's a guy here. So I would like to switch my weapon, because I really don't want to fight him with this. Okay, I guess I can, because it still does a lot of damage. <laughs> Maybe I should just only use the, uh... Oh, this was a lot of damage. There's more damage than the mace. Maybe I should just use the mace on really heavy armored guys. That seems to be the situation here. Hopefully I'm not going to have the same problem that I had with the, uh... <laughs> the other... The other time I played through this game. Pretty funny, actually. What happened? I, uh, you know, down here somewhere you can summon... Uh, what's her face? Uh, Mira. And, uh, here comes the boat. Um, you can summon Mira, and it's funny because... I was running through the, uh, the, the dock area with her, and she just fucking... She just falls right into the water. Right in the goddamn water. I was, like, sitting there going, Are you kidding me right now? Before I could even get to the boss area. I was, like, I was furious that I just wasted that summon for that. Isn't there an item behind here? No, I guess there's not an item behind there. I thought there was. Oh, well. Oh, well. That was a terrible attempt to do any kind of accident. I apologize profusely for that. Where do I go, though, for her? I don't remember exactly where I have to go to get her to be summoned. Those are a bunch of houses. Maybe it's through here somewhere. It's probably up there, but I just, like, screwed myself. Oh, because this just leads... Yeah, this is just... This is just the way up. Right? Yeah, this is the way up. And then... Around here. Yeah, there's nothing. But I could have sworn there was a way... Uh, that had, like, a barred gate or something that I have to go through. Well, maybe not. Oh, well. Oh, friggin' well. Oh, wait, maybe it's right here. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Never mind. I lied. What's in here, though? Some guys just you guys just taking a nap. Wake the fuck up! Get up! Fucking fight me like men taking naps. You guys are dead already. I think maybe. You fucking people! I'm over here working my ass off, and they decide they're just gonna sleep a little bit in this freaking room. Don't even worry about me. They're all like, "Oh man, oh, oh, oh." Oh, look, you know, I got so angry. I got so angry now. And now I'm just going to have to deal with this poison. Okay, now I need to use my gem. And hope I can survive the poison long enough. I think I'm going to be okay. Yeah, I'm alright. Sweet. Oh, I'm still getting poisoned, though. Oh, please stop poisoned. Ugh. I hate when you get the poison on your pants or whatever, and then just keeps poisoning you forever. Hi, guy. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. You're dead. Come back another time. Thank you. Come again. Uh, there is the summon. For that. And there's this guy over here with some arrows. Who's... What are you gonna do? Try and snipe me? You failed. You failed. So bad. You are so bad at everything. You should just quit your life. Why'd that still do damage to me when I had my shield up? Whatever. This game makes me angry sometimes. Um. Oh, there's a guy here. Okay. Alright. There's another guy here. Ow! 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 Now there's another guy here. Where are you guys all coming from? What the heck? Oh, I got myself like in a really bad position because of this. Oh my gosh, where do you all keep coming from? You totally missed me by like 20 miles. And there's a dog. And a dog. <laughs> now the dead dog is dead. Dog dead, dead to dog. Kill the dog, it's dead now. 
What's in the treasure chest? Time to look. Hopefully not a trap. I just hit it once, and it broke? Really? Oh, that's probably meaning it was a trap. Maybe. Maybe no. Because even traps still... Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with myself anymore. What are you doing? There's like stuck and walking animation. This is a chest, and it's a good chest because I know because it's metal. It might still have a trap though. Brigand uh, hood armor gauntlets trouser axe. Oh, that's the uh, bandit armor. <laughs> oh, that bandit armor. You look like you're a bandit from Skyrim or something. But you, I don't know. It just looks ridiculous. I think it looks absolutely ridiculous. It's like a bunch of fur and just random stuff piled on. Okay. So, Lucetiel of Mura. That's her name. Lucetiel. Or Tall Tail. Whatever. I'm gonna hope that this time she won't fall off the freaking edge of the water and die. Maybe she'll help me actually get to the boss and fight it. And uh, I'm waiting for the rage comments about me summoning her and me using her in the boss battle. But you know what? I've already expressed my opinion about that kind of thing. And my opinion is my own, and if you don't like it, well, too bad. I don't have a Ferris Lockstone. I don't even know what that does. I'll certainly take that stuff, though. Thank you, thank you. Get to the boats. I need to go this way. No. No, I think I screwed up. I think I screwed up. I screwed up. This way. Maybe. Maybe I screwed up again. Why do I keep screwing up? Now it's down here. How do I get over there? Oh, I have to go up here. Ugh. Going the wrong way and running into poles. That's how I roll. No, that's not how I roll. That's how I roll. Like that. Circle button. That's my rolling button. Of life. Listen, alright, Some I don't think some of you understand that trying to do commentary on YouTube, you sometimes you just run out of things to say, and then you just say random crap. That doesn't make any sense. And there's a dude behind me, and I saw him. Or there's two guys behind me. Go. Go, lady, go. You're not helping me at all. Oh my gosh. Terrible at your job. But you were taking a crap ton of damage. You took a lot of damage, actually. Wow. It's pretty impressive. I didn't think she was that tanky. If it's a she, I'm pretty sure it's a she. I may be wrong on that, though. Hey, a broadsword. I'll take it. I like to take all the weapons in this game, and then I will uh, try ranged battle. Um, and then down the road, I'll just, like, turn a... Uh, there's guys over here. Okay. Uh, turn uh, all the weapons into certain upgrades and, uh, like, uh, elemental up upgrades and then see exactly how they, uh, they do or how they fare. There's another guy right here. I see you. Okay. <laughs> I hate... <laughs> that was a little pathetic, but okay. <laughs> Kill that guy. Give me some, uh, Give me some whatever the hell this is. Oh, a human effigy. I can always use a human effigy. If you didn't see, I just did a thumbs up and a good smile. Because I really do. Like, the first time I played this game, I ran out of human effigies so freaking quick, it wasn't even funny. Uh, this is the one where it's like, you're safe here, but there's like a ranged thing that tries to kill you or something. That's a that's just a dude who gives you some stuff over there. Just gives me some stuff. Stuff you guys don't need to worry about. I swear to God, she better not freaking fall off that edge. Or I'm going to kill her, even though she'll already be dead. Yeah, that's one guy. Okay. Uh, nope. Blocked. And then this guy over here is just like, const Oh, ow! I did not know that was, like, a combo move. Whoa. I did not know that was a combo move. That was cool. 
I will actually say that was kind of cool. They throw oil on you, and then they explode you with a firebomb. You know what? That takes that takes some talent. It takes perseverance. Ten points to Slytherin, because I think these guys are evil I th or something, so... I'm just waiting for all the rage comments about that, too. Just because they're Slytherin doesn't make them evil. Well, yeah. I mean, that's just... Actually, yeah, that's true. That's just... Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, no, please. No. Why? Why are you at risk? Ah, oh, crap. I don't have any repair powder on me either, do I? I do have some repair powder. Okay. Then I'm going to repair my fire longsword, because I would like to use it in this battle. If that's okay with you, and everybody that watches. Um, I need to use that at some point. I need to also use that now. Uh, transform to blend into the environment. I've never even seen that before. Soapstones, rubbish, witching urn, which does magic damage, human effigies, some healing items. I think I am set for this boss fight. It healed that halfway. Um, so let's let's get this fight on the way. Uh, this is the Flexile Sentry. Um, he is a man with uh, two faces, uh, most literally. Uh, and she is kind of just not doing anything at the moment. Oh, shit. Wow. Okay. I can see how incredibly overpowered it is to have two people with this fight. Because <laughs> I am just, like, beating... Oh! 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 I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. But sh man, she is tanky as shit. Like, holy crap. I've never seen an NPC that like, that tanky. Like, she is the person I have to use to fight the smelter demon with. And she gets wrecked against the smelter demon. I get wrecked against the smelter demon. Because the smelter demon is ridiculously strong. He is crazy strong. This guy is kind of a pathetic boss just because he's kind of like those becomes a normal enemy later down the road kind of boss. Uh, so, I mean, you don't really should not expect much. But as you can see, he just he has like two sides on him. One has heavy uh, smash attack. One has uh, quicker um, uh, uh, slash. And uh, one side will. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna finish this fight. Um, <laughs> one side will. Uh, uh, defend itself, the backside will defend itself while you are attacking the other side. Uh, in all honesty, the boss fight's not even hard. Uh, the first time I came through with my, uh, my first character, I, I blew through it really quick. Um, it just, it's, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Any good shield and a heavy armor, you don't even need a heavy armor. Any just good shield I'll, will win that boss fight pretty much single-handedly. He just defend all of his stuff. And he has pretty good uh, openings. So now we have the Pyromancy Flame and Fireball, meaning I can now do Pyromancies. Uh, am I going to do Pyromancies? Most likely, uh, unless I end up do going down the the uh, the line of uh, I don't know, doing some faith sorceries, f faith forceries. I don't know what you'd call faith spells. Um, but here we uh, here we go. We're on a, a whole new adventure, and uh, we are going to one of the worst areas in this game. He, uh, actually, you know what? That's not true. It's not one of the worst areas of the game. Um, it's one of the worst... has one of the worst parts in the game. That includes one of the worst bosses in the game. That was more or less a copy-paste of the uh, gargoyle uh, bosses from the first Dark Souls. But, eh, there goes my phone again. Hello, phone. I'm pretty sure it's set on like a 10 minute interval or something. I just, I don't even turn it off. I probably should turn it off. That's what I probably should do. So it'll stop going off while I'm recording. Obviously I'm doing that because I got very quiet so I had to concentrate. My phone has a nice little feature on it that uh, it requires you uh, before you can put it off or turn it off. Um, you have to do math. Makes your brain think, and it wakes you up. 
I thought it was a cool little thing on there. Okay, so bonfire should be around here somewhere. Gorgeous view ahead. Still don't see the bonfire. I really would rather not die before I get to this place with my 33 fucking thousand souls and just lose them all. But, I don't know. But yeah, that boss. Pretty easy, right? I mean, you guys obviously just watched it. Uh, wow, can you actually go through there with that little hole? I wonder. No, that'd be impossible to get up on the little hole. Hmm. That's weird. Um, but yeah, definitely, like, it was kind it's, he, that boss is, like, dragon, the dragon knight level easy. Uh, so, no big deal if you guys actually get to him. I'm not really doing this game as, like, a, oh, this is what you should do. Um, this game is meant to be played any way you want. Uh, and that includes, you know, I mean, I, I think that area is actually completely optional from what I know, because you can actually come to the Lost, uh, the Lost Bastel through the, um, the nest, uh, that you saw earlier in one of my previous episodes that was right in front of the pursuer or right after the pursuer. If you curl up into a little ball, uh, the crow that carries the pursuer around will come up and pick you up and he will take you on a journey to this place that is practically hell incarnate. But um, I think I am done recording for now, guys. Uh, thanks for tun tuning in, watching again. Uh, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, I love the support. will continue to always love the support, uh, even if I don't have that many people watching me at the moment. Um, so keep in uh, close uh, view of YouTube. And make sure you keep an eye out for any future videos, uploads. And remember, um, I definitely would appreciate it if you guys could like, or favorite, or even subscribe if you guys are new, uh, so you can get any of those future updates.